Hi, folks. My name is Deborah Mutuku. I'm Mary Topadi, who is my partner in the business. We were employed by government, and uh, I was a teacher, and he was an administrator in the township. I resigned from the business due to lack because we didn't earn a lot from the, uh, the, the government. So we started a, a new cafe, a shop, which, you know, committed us a lot. We worked hard and my husband also resigned. He joined me and we were working very hard until we became sick. And a few years later, somebody, a friend called me, invited me to a presentation. I went and when the presenter was speaking, I could see that, no, this is something doable because he talked about duplication the power of duplication and helping other people, you know, in this uh, economy. And we started this business seriously because I would compare it with the conventional business and I saw it, you know, doable. So we worked very hard, myself and buddy. We applied the daily success habits and then we signed up a lot of people until we became Emerald Directors. That is where we started earning some incentives, consistent bonus, consistent bonus, the step up bonuses when we became well team members. And these bonuses, the extras that we got, we reinvested them into the business. We bought products for own use and then we helped our uh, distributors, you know, we traveled without lack and we really appreciate new life for, you know, all these incentives that you, you put in place. And I would like to urge those who are still doubting this business that people, this business works. So let's go for it. My name is Tessa Duane and I'm a mom of three children, seven chickens, four dogs, two cats, and a pig. I live on a farm just outside of Belito, and I have been with Neo Life for many years now. Um, I originally started, a friend of mine introduced me to the products and to the business. I think the way most of us kind of find out about Neo Life. And what appealed to me straight away um, were the health benefits. I was very interested in health, as well as the environmental benefits of using cleaning products that were non-toxic um, and concentrated. So I was going to reduce my plastic footprint. Um, I'd studied a BSc in ecology and environmental issues were very close to my heart. The other thing that grabbed me was the business side. Right from the start, um, I was looking to earn some extra money. Um, I was working at the time as a youth pastor it was a part-time job and it was pretty much close to being volunteer work. So I wanted to find something that would enable me to carry on doing what I really loved, but that would also give me flexibility. I didn't want to be committed um, to a nine to five, to needing to ask for leave, um, to having someone else dictate my hours to me. At that point, we didn't have children yet, but my husband traveled a lot for work. He was a cameraman. And I wanted to be able to go with him sometimes if the opportunity presented itself. And my long-term plan was to be able to be a stay-at-home mom as well, that when kids did um, come on the scene, I would be able to be home with them the way my mom was home with us. That had meant so much to me growing up, and I wanted to have that same input in my children's lives. So I am very grateful now, looking back, that someone was brave enough to share this opportunity with me when I was still in my 20s. It has given me so much over the past years. It's given me the flexibility that I dreamt of. It's given me an income that was sufficient and enabled me to stay home. And the other thing it's given me is just so much positive input into my life. The people we meet through Neo Life, the leaders that we learn from, the people that we work with, they're all people aiming to make a difference. They're people who have a message of hope and believe in a better tomorrow. And I think these days there's so much negativity. There's so many people struggling, um, people that might feel victims of their circumstances. But I really find this business is just such a, a positive input. And um, 
I love, love convention. And I'm sorry that we can't all be together again this year. But one day, if you haven't been yet, when you get the opportunity, it is just incredible. It is such a time of hope, such a time of celebrating together. Uh, if you ever wanted to have hope for Africa and hope for the future, get to convention and see what's happening in people's lives, see the impact people are having. It's just, it's so wonderful. Then I was asked to share one piece of advice. That's tricky um, to choose, but I think for me it would be believe you can. Um, if you want to make a success of this business, you truly can. And that's what's so wonderful. You see people with PhDs, you see people that haven't finished school, people from all sorts of different backgrounds making a success of Neo Life. So it's definitely not just for one kind of person. Anyone who wants to um, can build a business successfully. So first of all, that would be the first step. Believe you can, but then you need to work on those areas that make you think you can't. So whatever reason you have, whatever excuse you make um, for not being successful, work on that. Don't let that define you. If you are fearful, face that fear and do the thing that scares you. Once you've done it, it's never as bad as you thought it would be. So just wishing you all of the best and excited to meet you all hopefully next year at convention. God bless.